I'm just trying to focus on myself. Why? Because I keep making mistakes and not learning from them. Whatever it is that makes women fall for sweet nothings, like sweet words, I don't think I have it. Like, talk as much as you want, it could be giving Shakespeare. But until it translates into action, you have aroused zero interest from me. I have never... Why would a man have any interest in you when you say, it's giving Shakespeare, that's not English? Like, this about anybody in my entire life. Like, seriously, I could see myself marrying you, having kids with you, dying with you, resting my eternal soul with you in the grave. Like, you light up my world. Oh, okay. Um, well, do you want to date then? Um, I just feel like we're really rushing into things. <laughs> Slow down. Ladies, the more elegant you look and the more educated and intelligent you sound, the smaller your dating pool is going to be because as much as I hate to say this, we are living in a generation full of Peter Pans and full of fuckboys. And a lot of these guys might not be committing to you and pursuing you because they perceive you as being too difficult. See, they know that you're not going to tolerate mind games. They know that you're going to require more than the... They know you're high maintenance and it's not worth it. It's too much headache. Minimum. They know that you're not going to be easy to spring into bed with and you're going to come with standards and they themselves do not want to rise to that occasion. So they. Why would I want to rise to a woman's standards when she's in her 30s? When I can just go and date a younger woman? Why? I don't get it. It's illogical rather choose a woman who is of lesser caliber because that woman is going to put up with that that woman is not going to check them she's that woman doesn't have so much baggage that woman doesn't have such a high body count that woman is more pleasant that woman isn't that loud that woman is more feminine that woman isn't a feminist not going to require more and that's why this is happening but i don't think the solution is for you to lower your standards or become less elegant no i think you should actually stand firm in where you're at because the man and become cat ladies you're actually trying to manifest he's going to embrace all of those qualities and yeah it might take a little longer to meet him you might have to date a little older who knows but that guy is worth sticking around for because he's going to treat you like a queen and he's going to love that you come with standards these three golden rules one dating okay number one is you have to let him initiate the physical touch in the first at least three to five dates because that'll show him that you're not needy and that you don't like him more because men aren't into that they want to know that they want it and they're gonna do it and it also helps allow us to know that we're not stressed thinking that we want it more than they do let him be the first to text you for the first at least five times you talk whether that's a good morning whether that's a random conversation whether that's a question let him initiate the conversation and those rules guys are only for sims a guy that has boundaries a guy that has options he doesn't want to play any games i wouldn't want to play games i would just block her i, I don't have time for this last but not least he has to be the one that plans the first three dates he has to initiate it he has to decide where you're going he has to do all the things let him and make him put the effort in because a guy doesn't want it if they don't have to put any effort into it and this all comes back to how men need the chase how long have you been together 10 year anniversary 10 years married been married 10 years <laughs> Between the two of you, who would you say has invested more financially in a relationship? Me. Well, starting out. She, so when I was a student, a medical student in like medical school, she was working as a nurse. So she like supported us through when I was making no money. Yeah, guys, during the pandemic, there were a few months where I wasn't making any money. And my girlfriend was working and she came home at the end of the month and all her money she gave to me and i managed all the money in the household even though i didn't put in any money so not all women are just after your cash guys so before it was her and now it's me as we've grown older so yeah. what is it that he was able to bring if not money when you were making more well i think love isn't about money it shouldn't be judged on that but I mean, he's an amazing person inside and out, like just a beautiful person. So I fell in love with him for him and not for his money. We went through, you know, college together, then medical school together, then residency together, then fellowship together. Now finally he has a job 15 years later. But uh, so now I'm taking a backseat. I'm going to hang out now for a little bit. <laughs> you feel like long term it's always better for the men to be head of household with the 
financials? No, I mean, I was head of household for a long time. And, you know, I think just as long as you have a good partnership, I think that's all that really matters. Why don't you marry him? He won See, for me it was different. Even though she was making the money, I was taking care of all the financials. I handled the money. To jail. Oh, so you pick ass whoopers and felons. Here's why you shouldn't worry or stress about finding the one in your 20s. I'm 23 years old and I have no desire in finding a long-term partner or a husband right now. See guys, what did they tell you? They give bad advice to each other. All my life, I have focused so much of my attention towards boys. Since I was 16 years old, I've always been involved with a boy. For the first time in my life, I am putting 110% back into myself, back into my dreams and my goals, and I would never have it any other way. Your 20s are meant to be fun, are meant for self-discovery. Those are the most important years when you can find a really good guy when you can find a really good relationship, when you can get married, when you can have kids. Those are the most important years. Not to be selfish. This is the time to put yourself first, to put your desires and your dreams first. This is the time to grow your body count. And then the, the guy that you want to settle down with in, when you're 35, then he has to put up with all your baggage and all, all of your body counts. And he should just shut up and accept it. It won't always be like that. One day you'll have a husband who you'll have to take into consideration and kids maybe. I've heard so many stories from women in my life wishing that they did more in their 20s or they didn't get married as young as they did. Just believe that you are exactly... Yes, but they give that advice to you while still being married. They don't know how the dating market is today. They wouldn't last today in the dating market. Where you're supposed to be. If this is a single or a waiting season for you, trust in that work in that be happy in that and i genuinely believe that my dream man is working on himself he's working on his bag and we will meet in divine timing okay the universe never ever yes when he will be 35 he will pick a woman that is 25 that wants to be in a serious relationship that wants to get married he won't pick you messes with that don't spend too much of your time wishing for the one or wishing to get there. There is no there. You know, I know a lot of you ladies feel comfortable with this narrative, but most of the time this is not accurate and not true. For whatever reason, if they're not approaching you, it's for a reason. It's not generally because you are out of their league. True, true. They see red flags. You're too high maintenance. It's not worth it. If they're not approaching you most of the time, you're not the cheeseburger that they were looking to purchase in the first place. Yeah. And that's just shooting it straight to you. I know this narrative fits well because it makes you guys, it pat, helps you guys pat each other on the back and make you feel okay about the person you are. And maybe that's the case. But most of the time, if you're not getting approaches, if you're not getting people coming up to you and talking to you, it's for a reason. Yeah. It's not because you are out of their league. If you're single and looking to find love in 2024, this is going to be the best dating strategy you come across, no matter who you are or where you live or what you look like. So I've said before, dating is a numbers game, right? The more people you meet, the more likely you are to hit off with someone. And that's still true. But let's take it a step farther. Dating is a lot like investing. And the key to investing is diversification. So it's good to be on the dating apps, but it's also important to supplement that by doing things in person. Go to restaurants, go to events, go to bars, tell your friends you're looking to be set up, do hobbies where you can meet people with shared interests, maybe hire a matchmaker like me. Okay, don't put all of your eggs in just one basket. Oh, so she's a matchmaker. That's why she's making videos like this, because she makes a lot of money from that. I get it now. <laughs> because you run the risk of not capturing a big portion of the singles who aren't on the apps. Try it out and follow me for more dating tips. Girl language. What we say versus what we actually mean. Okay? Means ask me what is wrong because clearly something's yeah. wrong. Cool. Means something's wrong, but I don't really want to talk about it right now, so I'm probably going to bring it up within the next 48 hours. I'm fine. Means I am so not fine and I'll probably bring up numerous arguments. If you know how to read subtle body language, then even if she says she's fine, she's okay, you will know if something is not okay. <sighs> On this one comment that I said I'm fine about. I just don't want to ruin a friendship means please don't make a move on me again, ever. When we say, which outfit do you like better? 
we mean choose the one I'm thinking and I want you to pick or else I'm gonna probably take 30 minutes to an hour to find a whole new outfit because you didn't pick the one I wanted you to pick. Have and you should always say she looks good in that outfit. Yeah, that's that's not for me, guys. If I don't like the outfit, she will change. Fun means you are walking a very fine line. Behave, probably don't talk to any other girls. I'm probably watching you in some sort of way. When you ask us if we're hungry and we say no, we really mean we are serving and you need to order food for probably like four people so I can eat enough to fill my starvation and so you still have a little bit left. Here's how you're gonna make- If she eats for four people, she needs to lose weight. Give me your boyfriend. I'm Sophie, my friends call me the dating oracle, but my strategies are- The dating oracle, guys. <laughs> She's from the Matrix. Toxic, so they're not for the faint-hearted. You've been dating for a bit, things are pretty consistent, but you want to take it to the next level. You're going to invoke the wifey method. This will only work if he does actually like you. In the lead up to your next date, I'd say like two or three days before, you're going to pull back on the cons. You're not going to reach out to him and your responses are going to be a bit blunt. It's giving meh. And a guy that has boundaries will just block her. <laughs> That's what I did. Lots and lots and lots of times only works if your next date is locked in. I don't know how you dress for the first or second date, but I'm gonna assume you looked hot. For this date, the vibe is pretty. Swap your black eyeliner for dark brown, baby pink blush, pillow talk lip liner with Dior lip oil. That's the vibe. Quick disclaimer, my strategies only work for straight men. And although I think that you should do your hair and your makeup and dress in whatever way you want, I've seen this strategy work again and again and again. So I'm not gonna get keep, but as always, these are just suggestions. If you want to go full wifey mode, you're going to wear a cute dress. Think realization pa. We're going for feminine and we're going for pretty. That's the vibe. So you're being blunt and polite by a text. The moment you turn up for this date, you're friendly. You're happy to be there having fun. You're also sitting back and listening to what he has to say. You're basically teaching him that when he's in your... It doesn't matter how you are during the date. If you didn't contact me at all leading up to the date. I will just consider that a red flag and I will just not go on the date. He feels good. He feels heard. He's enjoying himself. If there are any moments of silence or you're stuck for conversation, just sit back, take a sip of your drink and let him work for the conversation a little bit. Reward him by being really engaged and interested in what he has to say next. The moment you leave, you're going back to blunt but polite. If he texts you good night or the next morning to say he had a good time, you can be friendly, but after that, blunt and polite. Subconsciously, he will have learned that when he's in your company, he feels like the man. But when you're not physically in his presence, he doesn't. Because you're being a little... This is so stupid. How does this work? How, how stupid as a man can you be to, to fall for this? Something is not right. Just, just think about it, guys. If with you... She's a certain way, and without you, she's different. Something's wrong. That's a red flag. Run away. Doesn't matter the reason. I don't care about the reason. Just run away. Dr. Dre had to pay his wife over $100 million in the divorce settlement, that and they had a prenup. And then Kim K, a billionaire in her own right, is getting $200,000 a year from Kanye West in child support. The laws do not benefit men. I don't True. think men should be getting married. It shouldn't be a percentage based on how much money you make. It should be amount to live a, an average life. The government shouldn't be... It mad. shouldn't be percentage based. Yes, but most women will say, well, I'm not average. I don't want to live an average life because I'm not average. Most people are average. Most women are average, but will, they will never admit that. That's what we're fighting for, man. I do think it's super sad that marriage is, I mean, for you guys, is just affiliated with money. It's not affiliated with the true meaning of being married. That's what women say when it's not their money that is at stake. If it was their money, they wouldn't talk like that. We have a lot to lose. How many men have their lives absolutely ruined because of divorce? The marriage laws in the West, in the United States, need to be rewritten. There's no fucking True. scenario where your wife should cheat and she still gets alimony. That's fucking absurd. Okay, so I have the best dating advice for 2024. Okay. And if you're not doing this, you should start now, which okay. is something so simple. Talk to ChatGPT. Instead of talking to your friends, if they are exhausted of listening to your stories, like mine, just go and talk to ChatGPT. It actually helped me so much because it replies immediately. It gives you a very... 
Most women on TikTok just talk through their phone to strangers making videos. They use their videos as a diary. Yeah, maybe talking to ChatGPT would be better. It would be more private. But they don't want that. They want validation. They want attention. ChatGPT isn't a real person, so it doesn't work. Highest version of the story, like vision of everything. And it's validating. And it actually made me get a nick from a lot of men. So <laughs> start doing it. Okay, guys, it's time for me to answer a few questions. What about open marriages? We all know divorce is designed to benefit women and hurt men. So why not stay married but be non-monogamous? What do you think? I find it hard to believe that uh, you can find a woman that will let you be non-monogamous without leaving in a marriage because she has everything to gain and you have everything to lose. So why would she agree to be in a non-monogamous marriage with you. And if you're talking about both of you being non-monogamous, why would you do that? Why would you want every every guy in the, the city knowing that your wife is doing that guy and the other guy and the other guy? I mean, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, is a reflection of you. So if she's a three or four, what what do you think guys will talk about behind your back? How would society see you? How would other men see you? Just think about that. Why get married then? Why just not be in a, in a relationship with a woman without getting married in a state that there is no common law? I, I don't get this and I don't get how this would benefit you as a man. Okay, next question. What is your age, bruh? On the 24th of September, I will be 37. So I'm a Libra. Do you know what that means? Absolutely fucking nothing. And anybody that tells you that being this zodiac sign or this zodiac sign means anything, you should just leave. You should not even engage in that conversation because that person is too stupid to even try to have a conversation with. I have a genuine question. Why do these women keep making these videos? And for whom? They're making it for attention and validation. They're using TikTok just like Instagram, but instead of posting pictures, they post videos. Majority of men are off social media apps. So who is watching this? That's not true. Older men are off social media. Most young men are on social media. In most of these videos, these ladies are either driving or doing makeup or cooking. Why can't they just sit still? I am so lost. I've talked about this before. Uh, they're doing two things at once because it's time consuming because most of them 99% of them don't make a living from TikTok maybe they get sponsored maybe they get some creams some products some makeups but they don't live off of TikTok so this is just like a side hustle so most of them work they have a job so this way recording in their cars or uh, while doing makeup saves them time because they have other things to do that that is my opinion okay guys i need some more new questions i don't have any more questions guys let me know some good questions down in the comments hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you on the next one